Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, I guess. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite makeup products. I've done a few makeup videos on this channel. I really like makeup. It's super fun. And I thought it'd be a great time to just talk about some of my favorites. Um, yes, I did dye my hair. So if I look a little different, sorry, not sorry. Um, but yeah, these are just products I actually like. Some of them are old favorites, some of them are new favorites. There's a little mix of everything. Um, I kind of split it up into four categories. So the first category is face. And we're going to start with my favorite foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. Here's what it looks like. Um, this is in the shade 110 Porcelain. This is my favorite foundation. This was the first foundation I found that had the right um, formula for my skin and was a color match. And I really like this, it has SPF 18. I would say this is probably like medium coverage. I actually use it as a concealer as well. So it definitely builds up a little bit. And I think it's really great and it's super inexpensive. I think it's like $6. So yeah, this is my first favorite. Oh, also I'll have all of these linked down below. So if you wanna buy them, then go ahead. The next one is a Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, it's a little broken. So I haven't used it in a while. I literally just tried to pick it up and the top fell off. Yeah, she's broken. Um, it's supposed to open up like this. I definitely need to get a new one because I really like this highlighter, but I haven't yet. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in Blossom Glow. I really like this shade. I think it looks super pretty. It's like an icy pink. I originally bought this because I had heard a lot of good things about it and that was a really good um, drugstore highlighter i really like it i think it's super nice it's super good quality for a drugstore highlighter i think it works super well i definitely recommend i definitely want to buy more of these i think they're so nice and cute now we're on to another highlighter i'm obsessed with highlighters they're literally like my favorite thing ever this is the fenty beauty all over diamond veil yeah this is the how many carrots one i think this is like the original one so here's the packaging there are so many things I love about this. Then the actual packaging is super pretty as well. Um, Y'all can see me kind of, but yeah, it's kind of mirrored. You can't really tell it's not light enough, but it has like shimmer all over. And here's what it looks like. Ooh, yeah, you can definitely see super shimmery. It's super pretty. It's like one of the prettiest highlighters I've ever had. It's definitely a lot different than your average highlighter. Most highlighters are kind of give like a shiny glow. This one is like pure sparkle, but I really like that. I think it's super cute. I really haven't made a dent in it. Actually, when you first buy it, it kind of domes up. That's what the product looks like. So I have flattened it out obviously because this is probably about a year old now, but I still have a lot, a lot of product left and I really like that. So I think it's worth your money, obviously. The last thing I want to talk about from my face category is Morphe Setting Spray. I have two here. This is my older one. This is the one I just bought. Um, these are both the same. I think this one was just a special packaging, but these are just the continuous setting mists. Um, I think they're really great. Reason I love it the most is I'm gonna try to show you guys. I don't know if you saw that. The mist, the mister, spectacular. It's such a nice fine mist a lot of setting sprays i tried the mists are very wet and thick and they leave like dots on your face and they take forever to dry and this does not do that it's super nice and it has a really nice kind of like natural neutral smell it's not super strong and it lasts a pretty long time too okay so the next section we're on to is brows the anastasia beverly hills brow definer i also recommend the brow wiz i'm going to talk about both of those and why i like both in a minute but this is what it looks like if y'all don't know this is the brow wiz's thicker sister as you can see with the brow definer the tip is like triangular i'll like open it up first whatever whereas the brow wiz is more like an actual pencil like it looks like a pen or pencil tip um i like both of these i used to use the brow wiz and i really liked it and i decided to switch over to the brow definer simply because i have really thin and sparse brows and the brow definer makes them easier to kind of fill in my brows it takes a little bit less time but if you have thicker brows the brows will work great and i actually would still use the brows i just think it's 
more convenient for me personally to use the brow definer. But here's what my brows look like. I have it on right now. I think it works super well. So yeah, I definitely recommend the Brow Wiz, the Brow Definer. I think they're both the same price. I'm not exactly sure. I'm in the shade Soft Brown, if you wanted to know. So the next brow product I want to talk about, it's not necessarily a makeup product, but I swear by it. Aloe Vera. This is Fruit of the Earth. 100% gel aloe vera. I use this to set my brows. Okay? I use it to set my brows. Um, this has lasted me a long time. I still have this much left. Definitely over a year. Somewhere between a year to two years. And I still have that much. We have clear brow gels to set your brows. But 10 times more cost effective to buy this giant thing for like half the price or less of a tiny tinted brow gel. And so yeah, I think this works really well for your brows. Also, this can work as like a moisturizer or a primer before your makeup. It's super nice. What I do is I squeeze some of this onto my hand, then I press it into my brows. So I'll like dip into it, press it into my brows so you don't get too much aloe vera on your brows. And then I brush it out and shape my brows and then I let them sit. If I put a little bit too much aloe vera, I'll go through and I'll kind of mess up my brow a little bit to kind of loosen it up. If you use this product sparingly and don't put too much on your brows, it works super great for a brow gel. And I 10 out of 10 recommend. So the next category we have is eyes. I'm really excited for these. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this is the original one. This is the full size. And then this is the mini. Now I'm gonna talk about the mini. That's why I brought her out here. I prefer the mini to the full size. So if I show you guys the mini, I just dropped it. You open it up and this is what it looks like. So you just squeeze the product out, okay? But with the full size, and it's an applicator. That's what that looks like. So you would like use this to apply it on your eyes. Um, I prefer to just squeeze it out. I just think it works better that way. And I feel like sometimes with the applicator, you get too much product on the applicator and then too much on your eye. Those are just some things, um, different things I've noticed about each of these. But other than that, they both do the same job. I mean, obviously they're both the same product. They both keep my eyeshadow not creasy. So I still use both of them. I just prefer to use this tiny one. Um, but yeah, I really recommend this primer. I think it works super great. Next is a special one. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I have three Naked palettes. Naked 3 was like my first high-end eyeshadow palette ever. So I think Naked palettes have a special place in my heart. And I just love the formula, I love the colors, I love everything about Naked Palettes. So I'm gonna open her up. I put it in the packaging today for you guys. So yeah, that's the little whatever. And then this is what it looks like. Here's the palette and then it comes with this cute little brush. That's two sides. Okay, so the reason why I specifically chose this Naked Palette over my other ones is I think mainly for the color scheme. Uh, I have blue eyes, if y'all can't tell. I'm actually wearing this today. Need a little orange look. But yeah, I'm wearing this palette today. After I kind of realized orange complements blue super well, I decided that I really wanted an orange eyeshadow palette and I got this one. It goes really well with my eyes and that's one reason why I like it. Another reason is I actually use a lot of the colors in this palette. I feel like a lot of the times, for me personally, when I buy an eyeshadow palette, it could have 12 shades and I might only use four. It's really nice to have a palette where I use like 90% of the shades. There's probably like two shades in here that I really don't use at all. Every other shade I use, I love, I'm obsessed with. And I think it's just a really nice palette to have. Obviously I've talked about, I love the formula. I love the colors. It's so pretty. Love the eyeshadow brushes and I just, I love everything about it. So yeah, I definitely recommend a Naked palette if you don't have any. I think they're super nice. On to a mascara. This is the tiny one because I got this as a sample. It's the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Um, I really like this. I didn't think I was gonna like it because it's not waterproof and I like waterproof mascaras. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what the little 2B tube looks like. So it's a nice wand. Um, I just like the formula. I feel like this curls my lashes without having to even actually curl my lashes. I think that's really cool. Um, obviously it's not waterproof, so it does smudge sometimes, but that's 
usually at the end of the day when I've had it on for hours. So I think overall this is a really good mascara. I'm actually wearing it today on the top of my lashes. So this is what they look like. And it's super not clumpy, super great. We love, we stand. Um, if they don't look that good, that's because my lashes fall no matter what mascara I use, so they never stay curled. So yeah, that's not the mascara's fault. And now we're on to another mascara. This is one of my all-time faves. Maybelline Last Sensational. This is the Curvitude one, but I also like the normal one as well. The only difference is this one has a curved wand and the other one's wand isn't curved but i think they both were great i just was curious to try this one out so i bought the curvitude one i've only used the waterproof formulas for the lash sensational mascaras so i don't really know anything about the normal ones i think this is a great waterproof mascara it's not too clumpy um which i feel like a lot are it is actually waterproof so that's really nice um so yeah i really like it i think it works really well it's really good quality for being a drugstore i feel like a lot of drugstore mascaras they either look cheap or they the formula is super cheap and i feel like this one it looks nice i like the packaging and i think it works super well for the price so yeah i recommend and the last category is lips and i have one thing because i'm super picky with lip products this is the elf clear gloss it says lip lacquer um mine's almost empty and no it's not this color um it's it's actually clear when you buy it it just mine just looks a little pink because i apply it over pink lipsticks a lot um i really 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 like this a lot of glosses are super sticky you know you try to you put it on you rub your lips together and then your lips get stuck together you kind of have to like peel them apart that doesn't happen with this i also like the applicator it's just the perfect size Here's what it looks like it's kind of like flat which is super nice because i feel like sometimes all for lip gloss applicators it will either pick up too much product and you kind of have to like use it weirdly so you're not putting too much on your lips it's a go-to gloss because it's clear it can go over anything and it will match everything so it's just nice to you know pop this all over your lips or pop it in the center and go about your day and it will match everything like i said so yeah i think this is a super good product it's very cheap i think this is one or two dollars maybe for a lip gloss this quality this should not be one or two dollars but it is unless they raised the price and i didn't know um but when i bought this i think i bought it for a dollar i think it's super super amazing super super inexpensive and i think everyone should own this those are all my favorite makeup products um i will have them linked down below so yeah if you guys i hope you guys try these out i think Obviously, I wouldn't be showing them to you if I didn't think they were worth showing or I didn't think they were worth your money if you want to buy them. I definitely recommend all of these. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know down below if you guys have any recommendations for some wintry or Christmas themed videos because that time is coming. It's almost December and I'm super excited for it. And I have a lot of cute stuff in the works. But yeah, that's what I got. So I'm going to go and I'll see you guys sometime in the future on a Saturday. And yeah. So, bye. 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 bye.